right, John, another evening at Shamrock Park, another injury time goal. Give yeah. me your thoughts on that. Uh, <clears throat> first half, I thought Coleraine moved the ball really well, in fairness to them. It took us a period of time to get used to their rotations. I think you can tell the team that's had has extra time in the pitch training sessions during the week and how they move and rotate as a unit to credit to them. That said, I felt we kept them largely under control and then unfortunately it's just a an opportunity, two or three opportunities to clear a ball and and, a, and unfortunately a bad goal goes in. As the game kind of, to be fair to our lads, as the game progressed I felt we didn't let it shake us. We didn't have that kind of, you know the way sometimes Shawnee will see that five minute period where you look really in trouble after conceding. I don't think that was the case tonight. I thought we got straight back into their shape which is testament to the lads and unfortunately we've given away a penalty. I didn't get a great view of it so I can't really comment on it but then then you see the characters in the group and I think towards the end of the game we were well worth our point and I think Brown's made three absolute wonder saves as well um, but in fairness I thought Coriam were very decent too so we'll take the point because at the end of the day we scored with seconds to go but I think that performance is testament to the players and the fact that they they never stop and I hope they do that for the rest of the season yeah, I was going to talk about the character to say that's three home games here on the bounce where you know we've dug deep and, and got last minute you know equaliser against them um, then feel the, the minute the last minute winner against the Swifts and the, the equalising goal here tonight there you know there's some big players in, in that dressing room but there's some big characters as well as, as you've alluded to I think you I will, I will, you know I'm very lucky uh, to, to be doing what I do with this club uh, I think as a staff we all feel that way I know the manager certainly does and that, that filters its way down I think credit to Niall and the group he's put together because you know you have people there senior players uh, I could name so many uh, even the guys like Ross Redmond that maybe aren't playing every minute of every game but the way they approach it Gary Thompson's Aaron McCarries, you know that filters through throughout your whole team as a, as a mindset they're used to always trying to stay in games and never giving up and I think you can see that in the way the way that we just don't stop and I also think Johnny we play a better brand of football at times than and maybe we get credit for sometimes the players the way that, the way they move the ball and, and we're always a threat and you can see that sometimes towards the end of the games where even if the game gets a bit frenetic and end the end we still create meaningful chances through good football We were speaking off camera I think we both agreed Korean probably controlled large parts of yes. the game but we arguably had the best chances of the game and, and look possibly the more dangerous you talk about those couple of world class saves from, from Rory Brown we're thinking of one from Alton Top in, in the first half and then he saves another header from, from Ryan Mays in the second half and I think there's another save in there as well Shane McCartan has a goal bound effort blocked um, an injury time as well it must be pleasing also from a, from a coaching point of view that you know, Coleraine's a full time outfit but Portadown have arguably finished a stronger team there as it entered the, the latter stages of the game uh, <clears throat> Yeah I think it's momentum too Johnny uh I think because of the experiences that we've had this season and the fact that the boys have, have gone and gone and gone and got rewards in other games, they know they can. And then you can find that extra 10% in the legs. It's that great belief that, that, that they're showing at the minute. And like everybody, we're realistic and we understand there'll be spells in the season where, where games don't go your way for one reason or another. But you have to hark back to that and realise that you're, you know, you can do it. You have that in the locker, and I think that those boys deserve great credit. And I do think Johnny at times, I thought in the first half, after Corian's kind of spell of possession and dominance, we had a good spell for around 15 minutes going into half time, where we controlled the ball quite well. We were moving the ball right to left. We were finding pockets and spaces in behind. We've been working hard on that, and the players have been really committed to that in the way that they're trying to play, and they deserve everything they get. And if they keep showing that level of character and well to go to the very end then hopefully we can we can have a very good season and um, we're talking um, earlier on too about the squad it's good to see Paul McElroy back this evening I think that's his first appearance he came off the bench sir um, his first appearance of the, of the season in, uh, in the league yeah in the league and then Jamie McDonough um, mm -hmm. what's the update on him I've seen him warming up here just before the game John Jamie obviously had been out of, of playing for quite a while uh, he had done a part of his pre-season at Cliftonville and he had come in Unfortunately, he was injured pretty early on with our sales, and it was a bit of a, a niggly one, and he tried to come back, and unfortunately, it re-injured, as, as sometimes happens. Uh, 
he's taken a much more patient approach. Cameron has been assessing our physio and, and we've been trying to get a programme that's beneficial to him to get him back and we're hoping that we'll see more of him in the next three or four weeks to get him to a place where we feel uh, he will be in his best possible shape to return so hopefully it'll be within that sort of time frame but we'll see because you know you never know how any training session or game might go especially if he plays a few reserve games just to get that match sharpness up but hopefully we'll see him very soon no problem to you Sean thank you thank you